Let's suppose you have a universal language. You can speak to anybody anywhere. But this language has a tiny vocabulary and grammar. You can always talk, but you can't say very much. In the world of electronic learning, SCORM has been that universal language. For more than a decade, it's been the standard for online courses. It's wonderful, assuming you're satisfied saying very few things. But consider this. Of all the useful skills you've learned, how much can be verified by SCORM records? SCORM does its small job well, but it doesn't capture and record most of your learning. Your experience is far deeper than a collection of browser sessions. This is precisely what the authors of SCORM sought to correct. Understanding the value of a universal language like SCORM, yet trying to incorporate the many ways you learn, they've developed the Experience API. It's also called the X API and the Tin Can API. Why three names for the exact same thing? Um, I don't know. That part will have to remain a mystery. In any case, whatever you call it, this new learning language introduces powerful possibilities at the same time that it raises some questions yet to be answered. Let's think for a moment about Experience API. What's an API? Forgive the jargon, it's just a way for devices to speak to each other. Programs, gadgets, anything digital can listen or talk with an API. And experience? Because even though SCORM will still be here for a long time, this new language can sit alongside SCORM as an eventual successor, one that captures more of learning experience than SCORM ever could. If you read the official docs, the Experience API is all about activity streams. All this means is that it can describe any kind of ongoing activity and it assumes you have an archive that the gadgets and programs will talk to. It's called a Learning Record Store, or LRS. It could stand alone, but it's more powerful as part of a mature learning management system. Think of it like this. You have a learning gadget, maybe an app on your phone. When you learn something, it tells the LRS. Sounds like SCORM. But SCORM only says, Jack completed Course X with a score of 50%. An app with Experience API can say that too, but it can offer any level of detail about how he took the course, and the learning object doesn't need to reside in an LMS. Imagine how you could improve your training if you could see, click by click, where students stumble or grow frustrated. But Experience API has more to offer. It allows any kind of message that says, somebody did something. And you may add details about the context, the results, and the authority of the sender of the message. It's clear why these options may be needed. Bob failed hang gliding means something very different when you consider context. With care and planning, this new tool can be used effectively. Experience API promises to allow self-reporting of achievements. It could build a personal portfolio. A designer can record screenshots and other details of her projects. A team member can record his contributions. And in many ways, it goes well beyond SCORM. One restriction is that with SCORM, you can only record an activity that it is prepared to hear. The Experience API can define its words at the same time it sends them. It's extremely flexible. Also, unlike with SCORM, your gadget or app only needs occasional internet connectivity. Learning can now move to the mobile device or remote location, and it can take advantage of any feature on your device. If your learning uses the GPS or gyroscope of a tablet, it can record that learning activity in detail. If your device is specialized to an occupation or task, the Experience API adapts to it. Conversely, this raw power can also be a problem. We use words inconsistently. There are many ways to say the same thing. Whether learners finish, complete, conclude, or accomplish the training, their records should look the same. And the definition your device sends with your message isn't enough. It still requires interpretation, or the data is incoherent. Learners might also be too selective or inconsistent in their reporting, and they might lack self-awareness. You would hesitate to combine self-reported achievements with data that's impartial and authenticated. 
Experience API is a universal language that describes your learning experience and can be understood with a depth of understanding unthinkable with SCORM. However, to be effective, it will need to be used properly with discipline and planning. Thank you.